How are we going, everybody? Now, I was going to do a live feed, but this is going to take a little bit longer and a lot harder if I was holding the phone in one hand to film this happening. And what I'm talking about is building this frame that I said earlier, uh, or yesterday I said it. I mean, I said it earlier today um, in real time, but as far as when you're watching it, it was a day before. Um, I'm building a frame around these tomatoes. Now, these are the tomatoes that copped the beating. Have a look, come in nice and close and have a look at the quality here. They've come bouncing back with a vengeance. They actually are doing really well. Uh, the bottom half, you know, they were beaten and battered, but they're still coming up okay. Well, actually quite good considering what they went through. So what I want to do is string these up and I need a canopy over the top so I can string them. It is late in the season, but I know some of you may be still planting, maybe, you know, got small seedlings like I have or they're finishing. Either way, you can use it for all sorts of uh, planting. You can string up your beans if you like. You can even use it for broad beans to hold them in place. This is the framework that I'm talking about. And the way we're building it, folks, is with garden stakes. These are the garden stakes, typical timber stakes. They're at 2.1 metre tall. We're going to drive these into the ground. Now, they're not going to be as high as I'd like them to be. They, you can get taller ones, 2.4, 2.7, if you like. They need to be 20 or 1 inch by 1 inch, 25 mil by 25 mil, because what we're using are these builder frame uh, corners. Now, there are three pieces of uh, square hollow section for you DIY guys and girls out there who love to use a, uh, a welder and all things like that. You can make your own quite easily little square pieces these have been black painted or powder coated and they've all actually got some holes here as well to screw it onto the timber so it doesn't fall apart it's really strong being metal and it slides on beautifully and look there will be a variance in the size of the timber sometimes they can be a little bit thick you just got to buzz the timber down to get it to fit in now we've got one side that's open like that see that how it slides up and down the beautiful thing about that is I'm going to just run through it now before I build it because it's going to happen pretty quick you can adjust the height to get a nice perfectly horizontal level on top. So you've got four corners, and if you've got one stick that has to go a bit deeper for whatever the reason, uh, and the others are too high, well, you can just slide it down to whatever height it is, and then just put a couple of screws in, and that'll keep it steady. So that's what we're going to do at the end. And uh, other than that, is basically four stakes in each corner, one in each corner, four horizontals, and we're done. Let's get to work. First, lay out the four horizontals so you know your parameters and boundaries. Then cut the excess piece off on all four corners. Pointy ends only, of course. After the four corners have been cut to size, get your uprights and position them right in the middle between the two ends, like that, and then drive it into the ground. So my seven foot cameraman's driven this into the ground to the right height. Now we slide our bracket over the top. Now I'm going to position this at the highest level and put a screw in to hold it in place. And now we do the same with the other three. And it's important to position the stake like that, butting up between the two. And it's as simple as this, folks. Slide it in. Look at that. And there's the frame. A couple of more screws in here to stop it from falling apart. And we're ready to rock and roll. That's our concrete mesh on top. This is a piece of leftover concrete mesh, folks. So we've got a little bit of sag in the middle. We may need to put, you know what? We might do this. Put one across the top. Like that and we'll tie it up to it, stop it from falling down. So there you have it folks, the builder frame kit which basically comes with four corner brackets, triangular corner brackets, metal, galvanized powder go to black with holes in them, a sturdy as, and it really is a quick way to build up a frame to train up your tomato plants or any climbing plants in fact or anything if you want to hang over or even perfect for bird netting and insect netting over your garden beds. Now Insects are all throughout the year and the more active your garden bed is, the more insects you will have there living. And the ecosystem should become balanced on its own if you don't use insecticides and fungicides. Get yourself a builder frame kit like this one here, a couple of garden stakes, well you actually need just eight of them. And leftover mesh if you like or netting over the top and it's so easy to protect and you can see now I can train all my plants off the ground. No fuss, no mess and easy to maintain and better aeration. It's available on our website vasiliesgarden.com they're back in stock they're on special for you to enjoy and get it into your garden check out our website vasiliesgarden.com from me vasili manesi